back with us from Archer Exploration is Mohamed Shakir. We've been discussing in detail each of the company's three verticals, being quantum computing, human health, and today we'll be discussing reliable energy. Yeah, so reliable energy does seem like a catch-all phrase, but uh, at Archer we, we see reliable energy as uh, having materials at the core of that, and the materials that we want to focus on are those that are able to both uh, manage and harness heat, light, and electricity, and, and doing that in a way where we can prepare for future economies that move away from polluting uh, fossil fuels. So Archer's strategy at the moment is very much about uh, advanced materials, down-end processing, innovation, but historically it was a mineral exploration company. You still have your hands on an asset, the Kampuna project. Can you tell me a bit about this and how it's helping with your strategy in reliable energy batteries? Yeah, so the Kapuna deposit is great because we, we have secured effectively uh, up to potentially 10,000 tonnes of concentrate of graphite uh, per year, which could be used to integrate further downstream uh, into batteries that can go into electric vehicles, for example, which is wonderful. And since the granting of the Kapuna mining lease in December last year, we've worked really hard to you know, uh, make sure that our partners and the people we do work with understand that the material is of very high quality and also it can actually be used in batteries further downstream. So you've got a great asset on your hands and of course making great strides with the downstream end of things. Can you explain to me a bit about how much of the value chain you're aiming to capture at Archer and what this market is really about, where it's going? Yeah, definitely. I think one of the, the key differences between some of the other sessions that we've had and, and talked about those high value specialty materials is that today, I guess we, we talk about graphite being high volume and having to integrate a high volume material into uh, technologies like batteries. So the high volume uh, value chain really does rely on, on that integration and, and managing that risk both you know, downstream and upstream. And so we we are part of the value chain and we are working to uh, develop our material and work with our partners to secure that supply chain. Mohamed, please do tell me more about your partners. I know they're both private and academic. Yeah, so uh, over the last couple of months, we've been working with, uh, you know, for example, Urbix Resources in America to try and investigate ways of you know, understanding how we can perhaps toll process our materials in North America. That work was really great uh, and, and there's a potential to do that in North America when the time comes. We've also signed a collaboration agreement with the University of New South Wales. It's been fantastic and, th and that collaboration agreement is centred around developing and, and really testing our materials to see how well they do perform uh, in fact in, in batteries and energy storage devices. On top of that though, I mean that collaboration agreement has provided us with over $150 million worth of access uh, to instrumentation, personnel, characterization tools, and things we just don't have to buy and, and we can use. So what is the roadmap to scaling up and commercializing? So the first step in, in achieving that was to really have a look at what the quality of the graphite that we were using was. And we took it on ourselves to, to investigate the quality of, of the graphite intrinsically. We're not talking about external factors here. We're not talking about metallurgy. We're talking about the material itself and, and whether it could be suitable for future applications. And what we found was down to the atomic scale that our material from Campuna was structurally near perfect. Now, what that meant was it could potentially be very useful in applications requiring high performance, like batteries. And what we then did was we went a step further we work with the University of South Wales to build the batteries from scratch. Full batteries. We're not talking half a battery where we're doing some basic testing. We're talking about an entire battery from scratch and we did that on a small scale of course because we don't have access to the 10,000 tons yet uh, and showed that it, it works and it definitively works and it gave us state-of-art values. And can you tell me how this translates into value for shareholders? I'm wondering about the nature of the market, the catalysts driving it, and really how Archer is positioned relative to peers, competitors? Well, it's, it's the market itself, the lithium ion battery space, it's expected to grow to about $130 billion over the next 10 years. 
And we're very happy that we're, we're part of this ecosystem uh, and we're in a very good position because we do have the resource uh, available to us and we, we are constantly adding value and, and demonstrating that this material can be integrated further downstream in applications, which is uh, wonderful because we're able to work with partners and, and continually look out for people who are, who are interested in, in working with us in, in developing these technologies further. So, Mohammed, finally, within this vertical of reliable energy, what is next for Archer Exploration? Well, I think in a very complex spectrum of players uh, across the whole supply chain when it comes to integrating batteries and materials in batteries and energy storage requirements, we could keep it quite simple in that we have an asset and, and a material that we've proven works and we're very confident in that and we're ready to continue to integrate that downstream. Well, Mohammed, it's always fascinating catching up with you. Thanks for another education. Look forward to following all the strings on the bow of Archer. No problem. Thank you for having me.